I want to share a story with you that I heard years ago as I was trying to start my financial planning practice. I had worked with a previous firm for four or five years or so and had a really good relationship with them. But uh, at that point, I was trying to start up my own financial planning firm and I hired a company, an organization, and a mentor to help me make that transition, to help me run my own practice and learn everything I needed to know to be able to gain clients and all that fun stuff in, in, my, in my new uh, financial planning firm. And there was a story that my mentor shared that I'll never forget. He was talking about years earlier when he went to his financial planning boss and told him that he was planning on starting his own firm and going out on his own. And his boss got really upset and essentially said, you know, you'll never make it on your own. You're going to come crawling back and don't even do it. Like, just stay here. And this is the line that I'll never forget. My mentor said to his boss at the time, I'd rather live in a cardboard box than be your bitch for the rest of my life. And guys, the reason I'm sharing with that with you is because I think a lot of you have made yourself bitches to bosses, to the government, to institutions, to even popular culture. I mean, heaven forbid you even say anything remotely controversial and you're staying quiet and you're not expressing what needs to be expressed because you're afraid that you'll lose your revenue, your job, your income, your relationships, whatever it may be. And you turned yourself into this obedient little boy who can't truly express himself and what he's thinking about and make a positive and lasting change in his life. And I'll tell you why. It's because you have no network, you have no money saved, you have no skill set, and you're not doing what you need to be doing to keep yourself from being a little bitch. Guys, this is what I mean when I'm talking about sovereignty. Develop your skill sets, build your networks, add value to people's lives, find ways to make additional revenue and income, start businesses, save money, invest your money so that you're free to do what it is you want to do, what's in your heart, what's in your mind, the goals and the things that you want to accomplish in your life. Uh, my same mentor said that he's got a seven figure slush fund set aside. Now I'm not quite there yet, but he's got this money set aside and he calls it FU money. And he calls it that because at any time he can say F you to anybody who might ask him to sacrifice or jeopardize his principles or morals because he's in the financial position to be able to say F you and walk away. So guys, develop some sovereignty, especially when it comes to your financial situation. Develop skills, learn how to network, learn how to communicate, learn how to work with people, invest your money, save your money, be smart with your financial decisions so that when push comes to shove and you're asked to jeopardize what you know to be true, you aren't forced to comply with something outside of your principles, your morals, and what your heart dictates. It's very simple. That will stick with me forever. I'd rather live in a cardboard box than be your bitch for the rest of my life. Sage advice.